A big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, and a big thanks to all of these donators of $5 or more. Gloomy Horse, An Enthusiast, Willie Davenport, and Vlad Tepish 3176 You all helped make these episodes possible. Howdy, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosso here with some more Castlevania 3. Um, last time, we made no progress. The time before that, we made no progress. Don't give me that, dead zergling. Refresh your browser. I updated the info. Yeah, I'll bet you did. So, um, I'm going to give this another shot. It's been a while, but you know what? I'm feeling froggy, so despite the fact that I'm well out of practice and I probably won't make it, I could use this opportunity to start getting back into practice for when I will have my glorious triumphant return and I eventually will make it through this, as I know I can because I'm insane. Move it this way. Alright, it's Castlevania 3. I can't leap directly onto the stairs. This is probably going to take a little bit more getting used to than I had originally anticipated. But that's okay. How's the audio? I have a feeling that it might be a little loud on the game front, but I don't know. Easy, you're going to have to let me know on that one. Overall levels are pretty low. And... Good to know. Thank you for the heads up. Might need to turn the volume up on your speakers because I have those at exactly where I've always had them. Like, I literally have them almost maxed out on my end, so I can't exactly turn them up anymore. Oh, fun fact I had mentioned to EZ earlier during my Dark Souls run a while ago that um, I managed to get my controller working wirelessly. However, it only works for Twitch games. It does not yet work on NES games. I actually have to have that plugged in or I have to completely redo all of my controls. But I'm not quite ready to do that yet because it would have taken me another hour and I don't have an hour before I really need to get to bed, so... Wired controller it is. Yes, power naps are often very enjoyable. Oh shit. That's an acid bubble. Man. I am definitely out of practice on this level. Now, as I recall, this is where the level starts getting difficult. I'm going to have a whole lot of blocks falling from the ceiling directly into my noggin. Yep, and there they are. Go ceiling blocks. Everyone loves a nice ceiling block, don't they? And the answer is no. Most people do not enjoy a good ceiling block in the least. In fact, most people would fucking hate them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it blocks, it blocks. Hit. Me right squaw in the nuts. At least I have delicious wall meat to fall back on. Man, it's been ages since I've had a good wall meat.
What was the last time? It's been a hot minute. I guarantee you that. That skeleton got hit with the holy water. Which burnt burns. Ah yes, the axe. I I am glad to have the axe here. This is a good boss against which to use the axe. I do at least remember that much. The axe wrecks that boss. And now the part that always gets me. <laughs> Accident. Okay. The trick to this part is figuring out when to switch patterns. Which I can never do properly. But even more than that, after this area, unless I can get through it without taking any hits at all, that's tea and cotton candy. Tea and cotton candy! For those of you wondering, BZ and I had a delicious exchange with regional treats, and he sent me some teas and cotton candies. And I sent him an assortment of oil peanuts as is tradition in my region. This should be switching up any second now. Change twice. That's the damn problem. I mean, maybe I'm imagining it, but it seems like they kind of changed twice there. Maybe I just need to be a little quicker on the track. Yeah, we good. Dead Zergling is referring to a faux pas I made earlier today when I thought that certainly it was Thursday. Thursday being the night when I usually run my D&D games. I was panicking, trying to get everything in order, because as having had some job interviews, I was worried that perhaps... You know what? I'll tell this story while I'm playing. But perhaps it might be the last D&D game I'd have a chance to run for a while. So, you know, I was getting all of my shit together, you know, worrying about stuff. But then, like right at the last minute, I decided to look at my watch, and lo and behold, today was a Wednesday. I was like, whoop. That takes a little pressure off. I can make the jump now, but I want to make sure I don't get blocked in the face by a cube. There we go. Okay. Now comes the actual hard part of the level. One wonders if I can make it to the next checkpoint. I don't even know where the next checkpoint is. That's the hell of it. I do have a couple of lives, so that's going to help.
Cheers. <laughs> if I get a job, I'll be able to afford non-shitty alcohol. Yes, believe me, I'm not overdoing it. I am leaving myself plenty of extra time. I assure you of that. Yeah, one up. How many ups? One. Exactly one. Alright, and now the floating platforms, right? The floating and also... Shit! I panicked. Got the speedrun tactic down. Fuck. And that would have been awesome if I got the speedrun tactic down. areas where I have to outrun a screen. It is, isn't it? Ah, oh, God bless a fuzzy brown email. How did this make it past the testing phase, I ask you? You gotta admit, so far from my first attempt at this, I've made it way farther than I've made it in, like, Ages. And that's for this being the first time I've played it in months. So. Can't be a total loss. Ah, shit. Think fast, I guess. Get me the hell out of here. Oof. A trio of enemies. That's that's just great. Now, I know for a fact that I have beaten every one of these bosses without taking a hit at one point or another, but not lately. Not lately. Meet on the other side. Nope. Alas, no meat. Alright. Cyclops comes first, I think. Nope, mummies. That was wrong, it was mummies. Sorry, got another try. Amy's 
be, but it's possible. And by God, possible is all the encouragement I need now. the night and fight those mummies. Yeah, no meat to be had. Okay, first the mummies. Best way to deal with the mummies is to just whip them relentlessly as fast as you can. As often as you can. comes next. If it's the Cyclops, I can beat the Cyclops. It is the Cyclops. Alright, I gotta hit it right squad in the eye. Best way to do that? Like that. This is the Pazuzu Demon, which I don't remember its patterns at freaking all. And that's gonna be. Shit, shit, shit! That's gonna be a problem. Eee! One more hit. That sound was the sound of a one up. Okay, the Pazuzu Demon. Its pattern is right at the edge of my brain. It was the early example of, I want to say, Gaibon from Castlevania 4. Jump three times, three shot spread. Okay, thank you. I knew it was something like that. Let's see if we can do this. The question is where to start with and how his jumps actually work. And then a three shot spread. Can I whip the shots? Not like that I can't. Oh. Ugh. We were doing so well too. Let's be honest, that's the farthest I've gotten in ages. And again, this is my first attempt at even trying this in literally months. I tried hitting the blocks on the way to the ice knife, but they didn't really do anything. I'll try again. Didn't I? I could have sworn I tried it. Hell, I'll try him again. I'll try him a thousand times on the off chance that one of the times I actually make it. That was a dangerous gamble.
Ooh, that was close. And then I took damage right at the last flippin' second. Alright. Well, um, you were right. There was absolutely some wall meat there. Dude, thank you. You have saved me so much trouble this day. I never would have thought to look on the edge for wall meat. I mean, it hardly ever is the case. Shit. I'm taking way too much damage here. Alright. And the Cyclops. Shit, I needed to be on the other side for a quick couple of points of damage. Getting some extra insight for fighting the Cyclops here. I would not have thought of that, but there we are. Okay, we got this. Three jumps, three shot spread, get on the edge. Dodge the three shot spread is really the question. Three. Oh, I can whip it. Okay. Alright. It's okay. Should have ducked, yes. We're getting there. Last life. Need a bracer. Well, I don't need a bracer, I just am going to take one. Because drinking is kind of my shtick. Last shot. Not necessarily my last attempt, but I should probably not drink any more shots after this. That being said, I might anyway. Because I have very little sense of self-control. Again, unfortunately, I don't have my job interview until very, very many hours from now. So, I'm not too worried about that. And, if I can actually manage to beat this, that will be a huge boost to my confidence. And I'm taking way too much damage immediately, so that's not a good sign at all. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh god, I'm so hosed. No! Tits up. Like tits down in the water at this point. Yeah, I don't even have my freaking axe. All right, mummies. Shit. 
enemies. Leave those kids alone. Oh god. No! I choked. I choked at the end. I choked at the very end. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think I have the hang of it now, though. That's an absolute lie. Everybody knows that when I stop playing a game for ages and then I get way farther on my first attempt. But when I get really far after not having played for ages, and then I and then I choke at the end, then it's like another several ages before I get back to where I made it. However, this time it could be different. Pretty freaking bad. Drip 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 Next part, still have no idea how to avoid taking damage. I'm following the box on this part. It's possible that I never will fully figure it out. considered Louisiana. I know my mom always used to make Louisiana iced tea back in the day. We gotta get rid of this nasty green block. We have gotten rid of the nasty green block. Good point. But if you do have a chance to try Louisiana, it's a pretty good alternative to Lipton. Just saying. You might like it, you might not. I don't know. It's worth a try. said, when you see the blocks in the upper left corner, that's when the pattern changes up. Let's see if we can get that to work for us. Babies crossed.
Hey, you wanna date this video? How about that so-called Jeffrey Epstein suicide? hi -o. It's the one conspiracy theory that everybody on both sides of the political aisle can get behind. Nobody anywhere is buying it. And there it is. And I still took a hit. Like, I get when the transition is made, but I don't know how to make the transition without taking damage. That's the problem. That kind of worked. Taking a minimum of damage. But then I still got those freaking platforms to go through. And I will be very surprised. Hey. Nothing was suspicious about any of that at all. And that's my official statement, CIA, who is definitely not watching my videos. Hey, politics fun. This is why I try not to engage in them on a regular basis on this channel. The rabbit hole goes so deep that I'd never come out. Smiling with you. I'm smiling with you. I thought I could make this one up for cycle, but apparently I couldn't. Okay. We're getting there. Quite a several few tricky parts. Oh god. Oh god, no. I've made a terrible mistake. Run away! Sing the song of my people that expresses my feelings. Stupid platforms. Runner, so I will probably never ever be able to one cycle that. I just don't have the skills. I wish I did, but I don't. One more attempt. Yep, yep. it'll get there in time.
forget it, man. He didn't actually stick around. He always just shows up for like two seconds and then he's gone. my first attempt and now I'm just kind of dialing it back. I mean, if we're being honest, what well, what is my greatest moment? There's so many amazing ones to choose from, my friend. There's my greatest moments of Rude, Life and Warlord. Greatest moments in Shadows of Can. Several great ones in Dark Souls 1. I did pretty good at counting with the count for the NES. There was I Wanna Be the Guy Gaiden in that game where I was playing My Little Ponies that were trying to fuck each other. Single advantage I can get. Fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed. Let's see if I can avoid taking damage this time. And I didn't take damage from the block, but rather I got hit by the flying jerk. Always gotta be something, doesn't it? So close to not having taken damage on that. So close. I mean, yes. There's wall meat here. I get that. I'm fine with that. Wait. I might have despawned the wall meat by accident. If I despawn the wall meat, I am going to be so disappointed. Okay, thank goodness. I still got to have one. You can never be 100% sure of games like this. This first part down path, pretty much. I never seem to do completely terribly, except for just now when I did terribly. And I have taken more damage during this run because I was talking shit than ever before. You son of a bitch! right now, but I'm sure I will eventually. Yep, 
changed my mind. Having more vodka. Oh, I see. I thought maybe you were making some um, sexy video game character reference that I was not aware of. makes sense. Now, if you admit Veronica from the Archie comics, she's a raven-haired beauty with, and also she's rich. Archie knows where it's at. I mean, Betty's, Betty's a lovely class as well. Old for choice, really. I understand that Archie got a resurgence recently, but I only remember the old comics from back in the day. Way back in the day. Oh yeah? Any good? Shit, 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 shit. I mean, I'm sure it was at least decent. I can't imagine it being bad. Yeah, that makes sense. Was a pretty great hit, so why not try to replicate it, right? It's just good business sense. Also, I just realized that when I brushed my hair back after my swim, you can totally see how fucking gray it is. Good god, I'm old. This isn't a trick of the light. This is, like, the only time the light's not tricking my hair. It's... I've got a fucking Reed Richard swoop right here. That's messed up, man. So, I totally feel you there. You show me a movie where all of the main characters get killed one by one. If they weren't well developed, don't give a shit. If those main characters were toys but they had personality, by God. Gets me right there. Every time. No, I'm saying it definitely did make me tear up a bit. But I'm also saying that I am better than Andy because I keep all of my toys and I bring them out and play with them once in a while because I'm insane. And also, I hope to pass them on to my children someday. The children that I will definitely have, and I'm not just blowing smoke in the wind. It could happen. I could have kids. Maybe. Possibly. And then I could show them all of the toys that I played with when I was a kid. Ah yes, blowing worse things into the wind. Reminds me of an amusing anecdote. 
But I think I've already told that one, so I'm not gonna repeat it. Better than usual. It's not saying a lot, but I'll take it. I can't believe I made it up there with such little incident. Still got a level to go. Still got the Medusa Corridor. The Cursed Medusa Corridor. Shouldn't have talked shit. <laughs> Serenity now. Little trees, yes. Uh, you got to admit, that was a real fucking answer. not already aware of video game programming possibly know that jumping up and down on the crumbling block would reset its timer. This just seems like a cool trick. I'm about done for today. Maybe we'll take this up another time. We did have a really good initial outing though, didn't we? It really looked like I was gonna win there for a minute. It was one good series of attempts followed by some really shitty attempts is what it was. I should try it again within a week. Can't get there from here. I was gonna end with some um, Dracula lithophanes, but can't get there from here. Eh, can't see him. Well, it would have been cool. Unfortunately, my camera does not pick them up properly, so anyway. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it very much. Until next time, this is your old pal Rosser. Take a drink.